Hello again, we are looking at the subject of the way of salvation in our series on doctrinal orthodoxy. And um, we want to look at that future hope that we have, those of us who are in Christ, who put our trust in him. What is the future we can look forward to? And I want to look at a number of scriptures in the book of Revelation. Uh, Revelation 20 verse 4, listen to this. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Not only are we saved, but creation is being saved as well. The effects of the fall we heard about in the early video, that's all going to be reversed. Uh, verse 3 says there shall be no more curse. Verse 4, remember that separation from God? They did not want to be in the presence of God. They shall see his face in verse 4. We're going to live in his presence. Um, uh, wonderful scripture in 1 Corinthians 15, 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. We will live forever. We will not have to face death anymore. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 52 gives us this promise. In a moment, in the twinkling of, a, of the eye, at the last trumpet sound, the dead will shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed we won't be having our present bodies subject to mortality pain again we will receive new incorruptible bodies that do not suffer from sickness and do not suffer from pain that's an amazing promise um verse 53 the very next verse says this more this mortal must put on immortality hallelujah and we have other promises about the new world that is coming. Isaiah 2, 4, they shall build their, they shall build, beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. They shall not fight nation against nation anymore. They shall not learn war anymore. No more war. Um, Isaiah 11, 9 says, they shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. Uh, and so we have these amazing promises, 1 Thessalonians 4.17. So will we ever be with the Lord. We will be in his presence forever. The effects of the fall, totally gone. Hallelujah. Revelation 21 verse 3, rejoice in this. For God will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. This is the, what we can expect, what we can look forward to. But I want to share one or two other things here because it leaves a question outstanding. What about those who are not saved? Well, this is what it says in Revelation chapter 20. Verses, I'll quote a part of verse 12 and verse 15 for you. And I saw the dead small and great stand before God and the books were opened and then it goes on to say and the dead were judged out of those books according to their works and whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire so there is a fiery judgment for those who are outside of the truth who have not been saved and Revelation 21 verse 8 puts it like this very sobering words to consider very carefully the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable that's demonic um, and murderers and whoremongers that's men who have sex with women they're not married to and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire which is the second death in other words death is not a wonderful release for you it is the beginning of the worst part um, whatever you go through in this life is not as bad as what's waiting you for the next one or it's not as good as what's waiting for you in the next one, depending on whether you're saved. So that's the future world we're looking to. There is a future world where the effects of the fall don't follow us. But for those who refuse Christ, who refuse salvation, uh, there is judgment awaiting. We're going to look at how to be saved in the next video and what the Bible says. God bless you. See you soon.